From mysterious bones of people long gone, to animals literally raining from the sky, these are eight of the most bizarre discoveries scientists can't explain. Number 8. Humpback Whale Supergroups Humpback whales have been studied extensively, to the extent that they have had their patterns in life documented quite well. We thought we knew everything about them until today. That's why reports of supergroups of humpback whales are stumping scientists all over the world. These whales have long been known to exist either on their own or in groups no more than seven. They prefer it that way, even having a loner nature. And yet, in recent years, there have been groups of up to 200 humpback whales seen in places like South Africa. Naturally, this is well beyond their usual numbers, and scientists are puzzled by this. I've never seen anything like this, lead researcher Ken Finley from the Cape Peninsula University of Technology in South Africa said. Amidst further study, it was found that these supergroups have been seen around 22 times, dating back to at least 2011. But why these supergroups are forming at all is stumping scientists. Some feel it might be a necessity due to lack of food. Others think it's for strength in numbers. And others still suggest that the groups are forming because they sense something wrong with the oceans. Another confounding thing is why they're all grouping near South Africa, as that's not near their feeding or mating grounds. So why go there? And how are they able to know when to go and do it so that they form these supergroups? Is it related to global warming? Are they planning something together? It's totally unexpected and unexplained. More research is indeed required for this. Number 7. Beacon of Maracaibo Lightning is a natural part of our world, and for the most part, we understand how it forms, why it strikes things on the ground, and how much power it contains. But in Venezuela, there is lightning that virtually never stops. This is known as the Beacon of Maracaibo. Specifically, this happens every night in western Venezuela, over the Catatumbo River. At about 7 p.m., lightning will start to strike the river and it won't stop for the next 10 hours. This storm happens between 140 and 260 days of the year and can strike around 280 times per hour. This is obviously more than any other spot on the planet and thus gets a lot of attention. What makes this phenomenon so special is that no one is really clear as to why the lightning does this so frequently and so unendingly. There have been many theories, including that there was uranium in the bedrock of the lake and that it was causing the strikes. But others say that it's a unique weather pattern that is formed because of the mountains that surround the area. Neither theory has been definitively proven though, and thus speculation continues. We do know that weather conditions can affect it though, because during a drought in 2010, it caused the event to temporarily stop for a few months. The lightning strikes are so powerful that they can be viewed around 250 miles away. It's very much a tourist attraction of sorts for both people and scientists, and yet the mystery of it remains. Number 6. The Jigsaw Mummies in the Scottish Highlands in the early part of the 2000s, a dig was going on under a Bronze Age settlement that existed 3,000 years ago. As they dug deeper, the researchers found two skeletons, a male and a female, and both of them were very well preserved. But that wasn't the bizarre thing, not quite. The bones felt odd in some way, such as the woman's jawbone being bigger than it should have been, and other inconsistencies that shouldn't have been present in mummies. They took DNA from various bones on both bodies and had them get tested. When the results came back, it was discovered that they were looking at two skeletons, but they were composed of bones from six people. This means that someone had taken the bones of these people and then placed them in specific orders to resemble two complete skeletons and then buried them in a ritualistic way. It was discovered later on that the reason for the bones being in such great condition is that they were put into a peat bog. So it's believed that whoever did this jigsaw puzzle put the original bodies into the bog, then fished them out later, and only then did they get the bones and arrange them as such. And that is where the truly bizarre mystery begins. Why would a person go to such great lengths to do this? What was their motive? 
No other jigsaw mummies were discovered to be like this, so was this a one-off for the person? What drove them to do this with the skeletons of six people? It's a mystery that many might not want to solve. What do you think is the answer to this mystery of skeleton mummies? Let me know in the comments down below. Then remember to subscribe to The Biggest if you haven't already for more intense and strange videos just like this one. Number 5. Taos Hum For many people living in Taos, New Mexico, there is a weird hum that can be heard by only 2% of the people who live there or visit there. This is known as the Taos Hum, and depending on who you talk to, you'll get different answers to the question, what did it sound like? That's not something you would expect from a unique noise, and yet it happens, and no one can explain why. The first reported cases of the hum were first brought up in the 1990s, and it became so famous that the University of New Mexico actually tried to investigate it to find the source. They couldn't figure it out, not even with incredible technological equipment that they had. This in turn left some wondering if it really was real. But since many out-of-town people have heard it, it's clearly not a case of people of a certain area hearing it, or a town coming together to play a prank on others. The people who are able to hear this bizarre hum are called hearers, and there are more out there than you might think. While there are many theories as to what the Tao's hum really is, there is one true known fact. This isn't an occurrence that is solely rooted in Taos, New Mexico. Research into this event has found places all over the world that suffer from a kind of humming noise. This leads many to wonder what exactly is going on in all these places. Is it something that the planet is doing that we just can't detect? If so, why are only 2% of people sensing it? Are there more spots like this out there? No one can say for sure. Number 4. Star Jelly Whether it be day or night, the skies are filled with water. Even when you don't see it, it's there, just waiting to rain down in some form or another, which leads to the mystery of the substance known as star jelly. This is something that indeed comes down from the skies above, and unlike rain, sleet, hail, or snow, it's gelatinous, which isn't something you'd expect to see coming down from the sky. Now, because it's still liquid in nature, it evaporates once it's on the ground, but numerous people have seen and taken pictures of this star jelly. In fact, some people have actually witnessed it raining down from the sky, causing all sorts of rumors and speculation about where it comes from and how it gets created. This is the problem, actually, for though it evaporates, scientists have gotten pieces of it and studied it. And quite confoundingly, the substance doesn't contain any DNA, or any sort, not unlike what water is. So the question becomes, if this is just another form of water, how did it go from water to jelly? No one really knows. Number 3. Auroras During Earthquakes Earthquakes are by and large one of the biggest natural disasters in the world. But thankfully for us, we know generally why they're caused, via shifting tectonic plates, and we are somewhat able to detect them. But there is one mystery that many have noted about during the events that have caused a deep mystery. The mystery of auroras during earthquakes. Auroras are usually caused because of conditions in the polar areas of the world. So imagine people's surprise when they witnessed a similar light scheme in the skies just before and during an earthquake that was nowhere near those poles. There is YouTube proof that this happens as a person caught the lights in the sky and then 30 minutes later an earthquake occurred. Others took pictures of this during an earthquake to prove it was happening then too. So what is causing this? In truth, we don't know. Scientists deduce that they might be an early warning system of sorts caused by stress within the plates that caused something to go up into the air and cause the auroras, but the fact of the matter is, all of this is speculation. Fun fact though, this event was actually used as a plot point in the sci-fi series Eureka, where the character saw the aurora just before an earthquake happened. Number 2. Raining Animals The idea of things falling from the sky is a tried and true and scientifically proven thing, but one thing you wouldn't expect to see or hear is stories of animals falling from the sky. Yet that is exactly what has happened all over the world. There are various stories of spiders that have rained down from the sky, as well as fish, tadpoles, frogs, worms, and even snakes. 
You'll notice that these are all flightless animals, so how is it that they got into the sky? The easy answer is that a tornado or water spout picked up all the animals, and once they were done, they dropped them down to Earth. However, while that may seem like a perfectly rational explanation, it doesn't work with all the instances of this. Cases with the water creatures have been miles inland, so nowhere near where the water spout would have been around. Plus, if it was as simple as that, the animals would have dropped to the ground seconds after the event due to gravity. Yet they didn't. So how was it that they were able to remain in the sky for so long and then drop down? Despite all kinds of footage and reports of these raining animals happening, there is no clear answer to how this happens. Plus, because it's an unpredictable event, no one is sure when the next one will happen, so it's not something scientists can prepare for until it happens again. Number 1. Early Earthquake Detection Device In modern times, there are various instruments to help predict and measure the intensity of earthquakes. Somehow, though, a device was made in 132 AD by Chinese astronomer Zhang Hung, and it too could detect earthquakes. The only visual of it is a replica that was made of the device. According to the stories, though, whatever made it work allowed it to show where the direction of an earthquake was. On the vessel there were dragons, each indicating a direction, and below them were toads with their mouths open. When an earthquake tremor reached the vessel, the dragon that was closest to the direction would actually spit out its ball into the toad below it, thus showing where the earthquake was. The texts that talk of the device also note that it had the ability to detect earthquakes 400 miles away. How they did this from a time period before various types of technology were even thought of before is confounding. Furthermore, scientists have no clue as to what the insides of the device were, and whatever was inside there was likely the reason the device worked at all. Not only that, how did an astronomer come up with a device to detect earthquakes? Mysteries abound with this unique item. Thanks for watching. What do you think of this look at the bizarre things that scientists have found? Do you think that science will ever be able to explain some of these things? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time, right here on The Biggest.